welcome. You're watching Gravener's Public Library's Collection Connection. My name is Jennifer Whip, and I'm the Child and Youth Services Librarian here at GPL. This week, I wanted to talk to you about our collection of juvenile picture books that focus on a pretty important topic and something that I think we've all been experiencing over the last couple of years, anxiety. And sometimes those, you know, those bad feelings of worry um, or anxiousness, uh, nervousness, those butterflies we get, that upset tummy. So we have a lot of books that actually address anxiety. First up, I wanted to show you um, a selection of picture books that personifies anxiety, um, that kind of introduces younger children to the concept of anxiety and what to do with it and what it feels like and, and what that might be. And then second, I wanted to show you a collection of books that provide you with some strategies for overcoming anxiety, um, for being mindful, right? For getting those worries out of our head and out of our heart. So let's get started with that. Okay, so starting with our books that personify anxiety and those feelings, um, those what ifs, I have a selection of six books here that I truly do love and they're very cute and I think very helpful. So the first one is called The What Ifs and it was written by Emily Kilgore. So this is about um, a child who is facing negative what ifs. So what if I mess up? What if I make a mistake? Uh, what if my friends are mean to me? What if, what if, what if? And it's about uh, her journey and changing those negative what ifs into positive what ifs. So what if we get chocolate cake after recital? What if I ask my friend for help and she makes me feel better? What if, what if, what if? And we go from negative to positive. So this one's really great and the illustrations in it are fantastic. You can see that these are the little what ifs that we need to get on our side. Next, I have My Big Bad Monster by A.N. Kang. So here you can see the anxiety monster on top of our main character's head. Um, this character um, is filled with self-doubt and the more she listens to them and the more she um, feeds into that self-doubt, the bigger her monster gets. So she has to learn to stop listening to those negative thoughts. Up next is Jack's Worry by Sam uh, Zuparati. So this one's about a little boy who gets scared to perform in his music recital because um, he's worried he's gonna make a mistake. And his worry follows him around, follows him around, and it grows and gets bigger, um, just like the girl in My Big Bad Monster. The difference with this one um, is that instead of stopping listening to those negative thoughts, Jack finds help by talking about his negative thoughts and reaching out for help. So that's Jack's worry. Very similar here, we have Ruby Finds a Worry by Tom Percival. So that's very similar to the last two. I love this one. It's called Small Night and the Anxiety Monster. So this one, um, it, it makes the main character really the hero of the story, fighting their own anxiety monster off. And the final one I'm gonna show you is called Small Things by Mel uh, Tregonin. Tregonin. Um, and so this one is in more of a graphic novel style, but it has no real words. And throughout the story, what you end up seeing is this, this little boy facing all of his um, you know, small things, all of his small worries that are building up and building up and causing him anxiety and really how he deals with it. So this one's a great one um, as you get into the junior and intermediate grades if you're still talking and having these conversations about anxiety, this one might be one to check out as well. Okay, next I have six books that are gonna give you some strategies from for uh, dealing with anxiety. So they move on from talking about what anxiety is um, and how the children are perceiving it and dealing with it in their lives to strategies that you can actually implement at home that are gonna help with anxiety. So first up, I have Silly Billy by Anthony Brown. So Silly Billy is a story about a little boy who is having a lot of anxiety and worries. And what he does is he ends up making worry dolls or getting worry dolls. Worry dolls are small little dolls that you keep at your bedside table or under your pillow. And at night before you go to bed, you tell them all of your worries so that you don't have to think about it anymore. They'll do the worrying for you. So that's how um, Billy deals with his anxiety. 
similarly, we have the Worry Box, uh, written by Suzanne Chu, um, which is about writing all your worries down and putting them in a box. Um, this is just about helping to acknowledge those worries and let them go, right? So similar to the worry dolls and Silly Billy. Now, of course, we have Moody Cow Meditates by Carrie Lee McLean. Um, this is about Moody Cow. It's quite funny, he's very moody. Um, and how he meditates to get through his moods. We also have The Breathing Book, which is gonna help you to meditate and get through your moods. Um, it's by Christopher Willard, Olivia Weiser, and the art is by Allison Oliver. This one's great, so it reframes your worries. Um, you can balance the book on your belly. You're gonna chase shapes and labyrinths, send good wishes to other, and you're gonna even turn pages with your breath. So this is an interactive book um, that's filled with activities that's gonna help you to know the power of your breath and how it can really, um, address your anxiety. Um, okay, Puppy in My Head. So this book by Ellis Gravel is about a puppy in your head. So if you've ever played with a puppy, you know that they're all over the place and they're distractible and they're bouncing from here to there all over the place and they're a little bit crazy. And if you have one of those in your head, it can be a little overwhelming. So this book is about mindfulness and how to address that puppy in your head. Finally, we have ABC Mindful Me by Christian uh, Engel. And this one is an ABC book that really talks about how you can be present, um, how you can be mindful, different tools like relaxation, quiet and nature walks, um, thinking about thankfulness, keeping a healthy diet, everything that you can do to really just give yourself the best start and to really be in the moment and be mindful. We also have um, mental health books, meditation books, and things like that in our nonfiction uh, juvenile section as well. If you're interested in those, you can absolutely send me an email at jennifer.whip at gravenhurst.ca or call us at 705-687-3382 if you're interested in signing out any of the books I've showed today um, or if you want to find some others like the ones I mentioned in our juvenile nonfiction section. Thanks everyone for tuning in to this week's Collection Connection. I'll be back next week with more book recommendations. Bye for now, everybody.